Hi everyone, let's have a look at hyperlinks today. So I have here my red dots with the schools of Lethbridge and uh, if I click on one to uh, start the pop-up window, the pop-up window will show the contents of all the attribute fields that we have. And I have added here one field that's called hype1 for hyperlink and there is my document and if I click on this then my website will open up uh, with that information. So let's have a look how we can set this thing up. Uh, you would uh, have to go to your uh, respective uh, layer. So we open up the attribute table, right click, attribute table. And here I have already added a field called hype1 for my hyperlink. This field must be a text field and it can be as wide as you want, up to 255 characters. And you see here are some links already in there. Let's add a link for, uh, let's say, Winston Churchill High School. I would like to add an, a hyperlink in here. So what has to go in here? So in our case, uh, we have found a web link. It doesn't have to be a web, web link. You can also just have a regular document. This could be a Word document or a spreadsheet or a photo or any file that you have on your computer. So uh, you can add those to your attribute table. So in our case, let's assume it's this website. So here you see the syntax that we need to copy into our attribute table field. And uh, it is this part here that would be the container for, in our case, a website. And then here you can give it any uh, link name that you would like that would come out on your pop-up window. So in our case here, the, the file and file path is this website. As I said, it could be on your C drive or your USB stick, There's some file that you would like to link up. And then the hyperlink name here is any name you want. In my case, I want to call it the Winston Churchill High School homepage. And so if we now combine this into our whole um, uh, syntax here, here is our web link. And it doesn't have to be hyperlinked. I just highlighted it here so you can see what it is. And then here, between the greater sign and the smaller sign, uh, there you would put in your text, uh, whatever text you like. So then what we can do is we can take this text, in this case here, and either copy this text now uh, straight into the attribute table, or alternatively, uh, we could just type the whole thing straight in the attribute table. And we paste the syntax in here. And we want to save our edits. Save our edits. So now this hyperlink is saved. So let's test it. And uh, so now if I click here on Winston Churchill School, there is my Winston Churchill High School homepage. And if I click on that site, there would be the homepage that we have just linked. So just as a reminder, everyone again, you can add hyperlinks you can add documents, you can add photos, you can add spreadsheets, you can add basically anything you like to your points that you can have more than one field. Each hyperlink field can only hold one link, but you can add two, three, 10, 20, 50 different hyperlinks if you wanted to do that. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.